Alright, welcome back to another tutorial. Today, this is just a fairly quick tutorial on the LUN algorithm for credit card validation. On an old video I had, somebody re uh, requested that I make a video on this, so I figured, hey, why not? It was like four years ago, but I'm like, hey, you know, it might need an updated version of this, so why not? Basic bootstrap here, just to get this video up and running. Uh, this is it over here. So it has uh, me enter credit card number. If there's an on-click check right now. It is not, you know, it's referenced yet. So we're going to create that in a second. And then there's just a disabled little text area that's going to print out a message to the user. So that's the boilerplate anyways that I set up. I like it. It's easy to test. So let us set up our functions. So first off, I'm going to do check CC. So I'm just going to do, okay. Then we'll just do an anonymous arrow function here. Easiest, cleanest way to do it with ES6. Okay, so I'm really just going to load it in first. Um, so what I'm going to do is, as I'll just say, uh, let's get our two um, elements that we want here. So basically, I want this value, and I want to know what this is, right? So I can print to it. So I'll set those up here. I'll first say, uh, let's just do CC. I'll just do L element cc number so element credit card number is equal to document get element by id and then it's just going to be cc number and let's just verify that that is that is what i chose there's the id so cc number that's correct perfect and then i'll just come down here this is going to be the element for the actual cc Validation, and I did name it validator, I believe. So CC get element by the CC validator. So let me just verify that's what I named it. CC validator, there it is. Okay. So now I have the two elements. So now all I'm going to do is I'm basically going to say if so if the LUN algorithm. Now I'm going to implement this in a second. If the LUN algorithm for the LCC number, so what I want to check is if this if this thing's dot value is true, so I don't have to I don't even have to say is equal to true or anything. I can just say you know there, simplify it. If it's true, then we actually want to check. This is um, the simplest way I did it. I just gave it a little nice message. So I'll just say, um, and I could even do this, uh, make it, so let message equals blank for now. And then I'll just come in here and I'll say message. Okay, let's just make some cleaner code here. So the message will just be, well, looks like that worked. Your CC is valid, yay. All right, otherwise, I'll just say uh, CC verification failed, sad face, there we go, okay, and then I'm just going to say LCC validation dot text content is equal to message. Perfect. So there it is. Now the only problem right now is there is no method LUN algorithm. So let's create that. So I'll go here. Okay. It's just going to take in a credit card number. So I'll just say CC number. And there we go. Now we need a couple things to begin with. So the first thing we're going to need is the length. So I'm just going to do the length will never change. So I'll make that a constant. And I'll just say length. And there it is. Easy enough. So I'll want a count. Initially set it to zero. And that's really it for now. Um, you want a length, a count. So we're basically going to traverse the entire. So I'll just go. I'll just say traverse the whole credit card credit card number 
really what I'm doing, and it's just This is actually a shortcut to the algorithm. The longer version is basically, if you want, you could go over here, I'll go here, I'll Google this baby. Basically, this is the normal way of doing it. Um, this is the longer way of doing it, this right here. Basically, all it's doing is it takes each digit, it cuts off the last one, which is known as the check digit or parity digit, kind of like how RAM has parity. It's just like that. Um, and then for every even, technically the index itself isn't even because it's 0, 1, 2, blah, 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 blah. But that's why that's why I wrote it as index plus 1. This is my little way of doing it. But in, basically index plus 1 would be like 0 plus 1 is 1, which is odd, so not that one. 1 plus 1 is 2, so even, so then you want to multiply the even one. Yep, so that's how I'm doing it anyways. Then what you would normally do is you'd multiply it and sort of place it back into place within either this string or a different string of the credit card number. So simply, basically, instead of doing this, um, we're just going to adjust it. So if 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 it's five, for instance, if this value were f if this value were five, and I said two times five, it would be ten. So then the way we're going to adjust it to shorthand this little maneuver here where we have to actually take these apart, 1, 8. It's easy because you just, it's easy, but you have to do an extra step. So I the, the way that people much smarter than me came up with was just to cut down on this, separate these two numbers, or I'm sorry, instead of separating these two numbers, subtract 9 from the value above 9, and it's a much, sorry, one sec, headset's about to shut off. Um, then it, it's, it's way simpler. So basically, in this case, it would be 1 plus 8, which is 9. If we just subtract 9 from it, if it's greater than 9, then um, we can basically just cut like an entire extra step out of this whole process. Pretty nice. So anyways, here we go. And you'll see it kind of evolve as this goes on. So I'll just say let i equal 0 i is less than the length i plus i plus plus okay and then really it's it's pretty simple um i'm just going to go here and we want to do current digit we want to check if the current digit um is divisible by two now the current digit technically i'm sorry uh, one sec <laughs> um uh, what I want to do is the i plus 1 thing first, <laughs> jump to step there, but i plus 1 modulus 2 is equal to 0. Okay, then we just want to hop into this baby, and we want to check if, okay, so it is, um, and in this case I'll actually get rid of this to make it cleaner code even more. Okay, perfect. So we'll hop into here, and we'll basically say, okay, well, what I want to check is if the current digit, and I'll create that in a second, Kind of created on the fly, not with Walrus operator, but um, I'll just create it up here. So I'll actually just make that right now. So it's just going to be current digit is equal to CC number I, and then I'm just going to parse this to an integer, of course. So parse int because it's currently a character technically. Anyways, continuing on, we have current digit. And we want to check if current digit times equals, which will calculate this, it will multiply it by 2. So if times equals is greater than 9, then all we're going to do, if that's the case, which it's nice we do it this way because it calculates it right there for us. Now current digit is what it was times 2. So now all we're going to do is we're going to say if it's greater than 9, then current digit minus equals 9. So basically, if this were 5, like I said before, if this were 5 or even, let's say 9, if this were 9, because we have 9s here, if this were 9, then it would be 18. 18 is greater than 9, so we subtract now, so current digit is currently 18, right? It checks, 18 is greater than 9, yes. So then, 
take the current digit, which is 18, subtract 9 from it, and set that to the new value of current digit. That's all it's doing. So now the current digit's value is 9, right? Because 18 minus 9 is 9, or just half of 9, or 18, sorry. <laughs> Easy math. So we do that, and then I'll come down here, and I'll basically just say the count plus equals our current digit's value that we have calculated throughout this little block if it was an even, otherwise just take the value it currently is and add it to the count. And then after we go through the for loop, all the way at the bottom, I'm just going to do a return. And if you're familiar with the modulus operator, this is known as a 10 mod um, uh, algorithm. If, you, if you've done computer science like me, and you've been in college and stuff, you know all about how modulus works and how all of these operations work. If not, don't worry, you could just Google it. But it's basically just seeing if the number is divisible by some number. And in this case, it's 10, which is why they call it mod 10. Which, as you can see right here, that's really all it's doing. It's checking if this value, and this is a, this is, see, this is a little more complicated way of doing it. But basically, it's as simple as just saying the count mod 10 is equal to some number. And in this case, they were doing the check digit which is right here, we are not doing that. It's much simpler. It actually cuts down in a couple steps, so it's pretty nice. Really, it's as simple as count mod 10 is equal to zero, and we want to do explicit equals, right? To so make sure you do explicit equals. So now I can come in here, make sure that everything looks okay. I think this will work, so I'll go over here, refresh this, and I'm going to enter Oh, uh, sorry. Um, let me go here. Let's get a sample. Let's get a sample um, credit card number. So I'll do credit card number. I'll do check digit example. Somebody might have a valid credit card number that I can look up. So let's see here. Uh, that might work. Okay, let's, let's take this one and see if it works. Okay, so this one failed. And let me count 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. All right, they actually cut off a number there. I think they cut the check digit number off. So let me go in. Yeah, they have check digit here. Let me see. Uh, 7, 1. Oh, shoot. 4, 9, 9, 2, 7. Was it? All right, let's just get out of that then. Let's. I'll, I don't want to find you a quicker example here. Oh, here we go. Okay, this one will work. So let's. I'll just go here. Copy. Yep, yeah, there we go. So that passed the LUN algorithm at least. So this has been validated, and the the sum of this little operation, the sum of taking every other number, multiplying it by two, and then summing all the numbers up. Um, and then seeing if it's divisible by 10 worked. So we have now validated this credit card number right here. Pretty sweet. So this can be done with other numbers. Um, it's not just this number. So if I went here, let's go back here. This number should work as well because it's really the same process. It's actually this number. But it, this number should work as well. Oh, shoot. I guess not. Uh, let me verify. Oh, hold on. I think I know why. Okay, I mean, this isn't a credit card number, um, but this should work. Uh, let's see. Did I forget anything? Hmm. Okay, let's see. Did I forget anything? Um... I don't think so. Uh, let me go back here. Oh, my gosh. My goodness. My goodness. All right. Let's try this one again. Anyways, this is one credit card number, a normal length credit card number. And it looks like it works. So I think I got it right. 
Um, yeah, if anyone thinks there are any discrepancies here, please let me know, but uh, it does appear to have worked. Um, I could even say an alert to add something else on here. I could do... I don't know, here, aw, double bummer, I don't know, add something else in there, another sad face, but if I go here, aw, there we go, anyways, that's the one algorithm, um, and if you'd like to read up more on it, then you could pop over to the Wikipedia page right here and take a gander through there. But um, yeah, it's not terribly complicated. I hope this video helped. Um, I hope that you can use this in the future. And if it doesn't work, please let me know. If it does, please like and subscribe. And thank you so much and goodbye.